So hi, uh, my name is Nick Petford, I'm the Vice Chancellor at the University of Northampton. Uh, I've also been teaching uh, earth sciences, in particular aspects of physical volcanology for about 15 years at least. Um, and I teach at the University of Northampton and what I've been doing over uh, the last uh, few months is experimenting with the new idea of the blended learning uh, uh, process that we're pioneering here at, at the University. So I just want to tell you a bit about some of the things I've did and what I found out doing it, what worked and perhaps what could be improved upon. So this is a screenshot of the Nile site, the course was Physical Environment and I gave three lectures. In the past I'd have given three sort of stand-up PowerPoint style lectures to the students with a, an assessed practical at the end. I used Use this notion of etivities, um, and the first thing that uh, I use this etivity for is to try and explain quite a, what can be quite a technically complex subject, and that is the viscosity of fluids. So how fluids, how, how they resist motion and deformation. I use the etivity process uh, called getting to grips with sticky fluids, um, and it's a combination of a, of a tutorial video that I produced at the, uh, on my mobile phone. What I asked the students to do is, before they came to the lecture, to, to look at the video, and I used in the market square these cards. You can see I'm holding a card there. The sound was just done on the earphones, speaking into mobile phone, and uh, talking through some of the aspects of what this cost is all about, with some text which pulls out some of the more technical aspects of the things I was saying. That was the first part, but what I did, I used these cards that I'd written on, to, to, to talk about another aspect of how you measure viscosity or how you work out viscosity using Excel. So um, what the students were then asked to do is to go through an Excel tutorial uh, which is part of this e-tivity here but the tutorial allows you to see how I would approach the problem that I set them. So what you're seeing now is a, is a 19, nearly a 20 minute tutorial on effective this idea of effective viscosity, how you work out the, uh, how sticky a fluid is with particles in. Here's the governing equation that, uh, that I presented in the market square. It's the same piece of card that I photographed and put into the Excel spreadsheet. And the whole tutorial here, if I play it through, show, tells you how um, uh, you can use Excel in terms of the cell structure and the, the inbuilt calculation tools to work out, to solve this equation. Okay, um, uh, and that's something that I've done lots and lots in the classroom, I've said it loads and loads of times over the years, but to be able to dump it all down, if you like, in one place um, that's technically accurate and works, saves me an awful lot of time. Because then in the class, I can assume the students have worked through this, this practical, they know how to do the solution, and it frees up a lot of time uh, away from the technical aspects to the discussion about what these formulas and equations actually mean in terms of the physics. So um, much more time spent on the learning of the meaning of the equations as opposed to the technical aspects of kind of hammering through them and coming up with a number at the end which you may or may not be sure what that means anyway. After they've read the, uh, the, the uh, engaged with this online piece about the introduction of volcanoes, I split up the rest of the teaching part of the module into two case studies, one on Iceland here, and then um, a, a more ancient, uh, still relatively young volcanic eruption, which was Krakatoa in 1883, Java case study. So this case study here focused on hazards of volcanoes and how they interact with the atmosphere. Uh, and this one here, the Java case study, looked at volcanoes that are so explosive they destroy the whole volcano itself. Uh, but also what was particular about the Java case study in Krakatoa is that it created one of the biggest volcanic tsunamis ever that killed 40 thousand people. So um, we're bringing some big ideas, big concepts, uh, disasters, disaster management, um, contemporary, uh, historical, plus the general introduction to volcanoes. For me a very positive experience, um, new for me, I've never done this before, uh, but I'm really keen to actually expand out on these, this case study idea, this flipped classroom, blended classroom uh, idea that we have um, for next year where I'll be doing even more of this.